Let's talk about butterflies. Everybody loves butterflies. They're just beautiful. Color so across the rainbow, flittering around all through the spring or summer and autumn. Uh, but where do butterflies come from? Well, even a child knows well, they come from a caterpillar. And then people don't give it much thought after that. We throw the word evolution at it and say, oh, well, they evolved to, to turn from a caterpillar to a butterfly. But let's just think about that a little bit closer. You know, a caterpillar has four sets of, of compound eyes that see only in black and white. Uh, they have uh, six legs that uh, they crawl around all day eating salad. They're like this little worm with legs that just get fatter and fatter. A butterfly, on the other hand, has compound eyes that see in color. It has wings in place of the legs. Uh, it can fly instead of walking on the ground. It, instead of chewing with a mandible, uh, it sucks nectar essentially through a straw that it gets out of flowers. Totally different form of eating, totally different form of locomotion. And how does it go from one to the other? In a miraculous process called metamorphosis. You see the caterpillar seals itself inside of a, of a chrysalis. It essentially dissolves its body into caterpillar soup. It, 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 all of the chemicals just come apart and redissolve. Then they reorganize themselves into a totally different creature. How could that happen a step at a time by evolutionary process? I mean, think about a caterpillar, a worm-like creature, somehow develops the ability to seal itself inside of an enclosure, but then it doesn't have the ability to get out or reorganize itself. It's just dead. It's a dead end. Everything has to be in place. All the programming to change that caterpillar, that worm-like creature, into a flying creature had to have been in place from the very first time it dissolved its body. That is not a simple change. That is a programming change of biblical, astronomical proportions that even human beings couldn't figure out how to do. It's not going to happen by just random chance. I didn't say the transformation is miraculous for no reason. It had to have been a supernatural miracle of God to have created a creature who could do such a thing. The metamorphosis of a caterpillar to a butterfly testifies to the reality of God's existence, perhaps like nothing else in creation. It is so clear and so apparent Evolution can't explain it, and I've never read anything that even comes close in any sort of an evolutionary magazine or textbook that even tries to explain it. It's simply ignored.